Hey guys, uh, in this video, Carol and I are going to go winter camping. Now it's a beautiful, sunny, clear, and very cold day, and it's going to get down to minus 20 Celsius or so tonight. So a couple of reasons we want to go camping. One, because it's Valentine's Day and we thought it would be kind of fun to get out there, um, just the two of us, and practice our survival skills. Uh, number two, we just got delivery of our brand new Seek Outside hot tent and it's a tent and a stove and the entire thing fits into this little bag and uh, is extremely light so we can't wait to show you how that works we we haven't set it up yet so that's going to be a learning curve for us I did set up the wood stove in in the cabin and it went great so I think I remember how to put that together so a lot of firsts um, another thing is we've been really wanting to practice our skills at outdoor survival and winter camping and all that kind of stuff. So we're prying ourselves away from the comfort and warmth of the cabin and we're gonna spend a night out in the wilderness winter camping. I think that's almost everything. I can just sit in the back and then we'll just take one load. We're kind of packing quite a bit of stuff just because we want to do fishing and, of course, some shed hunting. With the snow melting a little bit, I think we have a good chance um, to maybe see one. So I'll take Lando and do that, and Pete will do have a nice relaxing time fishing, and uh, should be really cozy. With all their gear packed up, mom and dad headed out across the lake in search of a suitable camp spot. The lake ice was like a skating rink today. And the snow dog proved to be the perfect machine for these icy conditions. With high winds and snow in the forecast, they had to take their time finding a spot that would keep them sheltered and protected from the weather. There's 
no wind in here, at least. Yeah, we go right up against the the trees there. Yeah. So weak trees doesn't look like. I mean. Lots Woo! of cedar. The ski we should have brought our skates. Yeah. We could skate here. <laughs> They eventually settled on a nice little cove tucked in against the trees that they had passed on the way out. Step one was to collect some firewood, enough for cooking and to keep the fire in the wood stove going all night. So this, in this tiny little package, is the wood stove. This is the chimney, and this is the center pole. So, and then here's your entire tent. So let's get uh, get it all unpacked, and we'll try to set it up. This seek out TP tent is so light and packs up so small that we think it will make a great base camp during our overland adventures as well. All right, now we're just going to finish staking down the edges of the tent, the teepee all the way around. Get them so they're drawn out and then we'll get set up. All right, so you can see the teepee tent is set up in the background. Carol's just throwing some snow around the bottom to uh, form a wind barrier and 
we're kind of protected here, but you never know which way the wind's going to come. So it's always best to take the proper precautions. We have some really neat uh, stakes which screw into the straight into the ice. Next, uh, once we've got that barrier made, we're going to get the uh, stove set up and uh, get some warmth going in there. Bottom and top. This stuff is titanium, so it's light and thin and just unbelievable. Hard to believe this is a stove, but we shall get it going and we'll show you how it works. So it's the back side. This is stove. And this is where you put the wood in. It is all set up and ready to go. Now we've got to build the uh, chimney. Put this in here. So that's the base of the chimney, and it's got a spark arrestor on it, as well as a Tiny little damper here. And then these are used to build up the chimney. So let's do that next. And then these rings go over it. Get one right to the middle. You put one over That is a neat way to pack up a chimney. Yeah, I didn't expect it. I thought it would come into pieces. Yeah. We have one more. Just uh, one at the end. Okay. I'll put one at the end. Grab some kindling. And... I don't think we need the mosquito net. No, not yet. But the time will come in a few weeks.
pretty warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's fast. I'm gonna keep on doing the snow. We have these Nemo sleeping bags and they go to minus 18, which we'll be pushing it tonight because I think it gets to around minus 18 or 20 without the wind chill, but uh, hopefully we'll stay warm. We'll figure, we'll find out and we keep the fire going. I think I'm going to just get these all laid out and get them all fluffed up. And then head out and do some hiking and maybe some fishing with Pete. It'll be nice. It's definitely a lot warmer and roomier than I thought in here. It's really, really cozy. And it just, like you guys saw, it just broke down to nothing. So I'm looking forward to trying out cooking on the stove and seeing how that all works out. But first, I'm gonna go walk around. It's cozy in there, isn't it? Alright, so Pete went out to drill some holes and put some lines in. I'm going to get the Dutch oven and start heating it up to make um, dinner. It's really, really cozy here. I can't believe it. I really like having our aloe box because it works as a table. It's also bear proof or animal proof. Keeps your scents down and it keeps everything protected. So before I left, I just put the short ribs in here with some olive oil, some seasonings. It's been marinating a little bit. I think I'm going to put some pine on the branches just to get hot.
I'm a little bit worried. I think I picked the wrong meal because <laughs> I need a Dutch oven that doesn't have the legs on the bottom. And this one, and she has it. It's a beauty little two-person Dutch oven, but for this type of uh, cooking, I didn't really think about that. Probably needs to have something flat. Warm in here. So the wind is starting to pick up. I hope uh, it's not too much <laughs> over the night, but. Either way, hopefully we staked it down good enough. Just makes it that much more exciting. But let's go check Pete. He's always wanted to go ice fishing for trout up over here on this arm. This is the first we've been able to. I'm just looking after base camp. But I think I'll go walk out and see how he's doing. Look at the ice. It's like it's like, oh, I should have, I mean, it's a skating rink. Let me just show you. Should have brought my skates. There is a weather system that's supposed to move through tonight. We might get a few centimeters of snow, which the boys will love. I think their friend is gonna be coming up, cousin, with a couple snowmobiles and they're gonna go out overlanding camping, which will be fun. Ooh, it's a cold it's one. Cold there. So we got live bait on that tip up over there, and it's using a white uh, jig, just jigging for trout. I don't know if I'm in the right spot, but I, I think this is a pretty good spot. There's some underwater structure here. Let's see what comes with it. Let's see if the whole freeze is over. Or if I freeze over it first. <laughs> it's a good day to have the uh, ice fishing hook. Yeah, we should have maybe brought it. Yeah. The wind is picking up. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, the tent blends right in. You can hardly see it. I'm gonna put some rocks, what I should have done, underneath the still legs. See that? It's all puddling. And now it's all crooked. So I think if I can find four like this, it may help it. heating up. Not as hot as I want it. Oh, it's getting there. Just need to be patient.
no bites yet, but I left my tip up out there. I'll keep an eye on it for binoculars. Mom decided to switch over to her cast iron frying pan in order to conduct more heat from the wood stove, which turned out to be a good move. So Peter found me a Valentine's present. He knows how much I love these rocks. <laughs> now it's uh, to finish my garden going um, by the new shed that we have. So some came loose, I'm gonna take them back. And it'll be special every time I see it. It'll be our first winter camp. All right, you can hear the meal boiling on the stove there. It smells amazing. We're just gonna walk out and check our uh, fishing line and then the meal should be done. is moving crazy loud. Dinner is all done and the snow is falling outside and it's super warm and cozy in here. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Thank you. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, I'm starving. That smells so good. Pretty hard on the outside there. You can hear it hitting the tent. 
Um, we're going to watch uh, an old classic movie and then hit the hay. So I hope you guys had an amazing Valentine's Day, as did we. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Just getting the fire stoked up. And we're going to get some coffee on. It was a chilly night last night, but pretty comfy in here. The thing we learned when making a, using the wood stove on ice is we need, um, we had Carol collected rocks to put under it, but we need more of a plate of some kind to insulate the stove from melting the ice because we have a bit of a pool here in the middle of the tent right now. It's melted about four inches off the top. It's not any worry of going through. It's got to go, you know, two feet or so of ice, but it does make you kind of makes the middle of the tent unusable. So we'll figure out the best way. I think to actually sell a plate, we should get that some kind of a insulator plate for the bottom. But other than that, it's a good night and we still have lots of wood left. So coffee time. Oh, nothing smells better than fresh adventure roast in the morning. Just grinding up the whole beans and then we'll, uh, I think the water's just about ready. Do a nice delicious pour over coffee. Did you find yours? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. When you can't go fast enough. 
What are you having <laughs> on your toast? I'm having some Loganberry jam. jam, which is my favorite. I think it's from Oregon. Here. Nice. Tastes so good. But we're letting the fire die down so we can go fishing. But I think I let it die down a little too fast because now my toast isn't toasting. And I'm pretty hungry. This is my favorite toaster. We've had it since, uh, well, seven years ago. We bought it and I think they're like $6 and they just collapse down, but it's a really nice toaster. Good. So good. With a cup of coffee. Can't beat it. It was a blustery and very cold day, but mom and dad had an awesome time together fishing and hiking. Before eventually returning to camp to warm up by the fire. And as afternoon turned into evening, the wind subsided, leaving behind the stillness and solitude of the frozen lake and the calm peace and tranquility of the wilderness. All right, so that was a wonderful day. The temperatures come down at least 10 degrees from this morning, so it's a lot more pleasant to be out here. Did some fishing. Uh, didn't have any luck, didn't catch anything, but uh, any day fishing is a good day, whether you catch something or not. Oh, you um, caught me. Uh, <laughs> it was a really <laughs> fun way to spend uh, Valentine's Day and night. Um, we camped on the ice. That was crazy. The noise that the ice makes is just mind-blowing, and you're just laying there at night and just hearing all these cracks and moans. and Especially as the... Uh, snow came down last night so you get that extra weight on the ice and it'll shift and crack just like that yeah that was crazy anyway you heard it that's what we were listening to all night um but anyway we're just gonna enjoy the fire tonight and uh, relax and enjoy the absolute silence of the wilderness here and each other's company i hope you had enjoyed this video i hope you had a wonderful valentine's day and uh we'll see you next week and in the meantime We'll, we'll see, see you down, down the, the road. road.